Yeah, to give you an idea of uh, just what kind of character and what kind of individual we're dealing with, let's take a look. It's time to get involved. Everyone in this section, put both your hands above your heads. Raise your hands. Put them up. You people represent the 70% of our students who just failed the practice exam. 70%. But that is not their failure. I don't blame them. The failure is yours. Pretty incredible stuff. Okay, we're here in the office of Principal Joe Clark of Eastside High School. Mr. Clark, it's a pleasure to see you this morning. Well, it's certainly good to see you on such a dreary day. Okay, now, you use the term dreary, and it, it may be applicable to a few different things. First, let's fill in uh, people who are watching on what's happened. The, uh, the movie has opened up to good reviews, and people are excited, and this probably should be a great time for you. Yet, uh, within the past month, uh, there's been a problem because you've been complaining that uh, Mike Tyson, the fighter, has been... Uh, doing promotional appearances for the movie and getting paid very well for it, yet uh, you have not been taken care of in that manner. Is that a problem? Uh, yes, that's a very, very serious problem with me. Uh, I think that the movie is really spectacular, so I won't improve that particular process. But, uh, and I commend Mike Tyson for whatever he got out of advertising the movie, but probably one of the most formidable advertisers pertinent to this movie is me. And when Mike Tyson can get $150,000 for saying six words, I think that I should get something commensurate with that. And I'm a little upset and I'm, a little, I'm a quite livid that this has not been forthcoming from Warner Brothers. And I'm upset about that. Why do you think they've allowed that to happen? Uh, I think insensitivity. I think uh, being voracious, uh, self-aggrandizement, a host of things I think enter into the picture. And, I, and I'm a little uh, dismayed over that. Okay. But you yet and still, this will not stop my enthusiasm for the movie and for the overall democratic process wherein one can achieve with diligence and assiduity. Okay, that's point A. Point B is, I think, of even more uh, pressing urgency to you. I, this is a clip from uh, uh, the local paper here, the North Jersey Herald and News, and it looks very risque here. The clip I'm holding up, it's a kind of a chorus girl, and what happened was a few weeks ago, uh, a review came in where they had semi-nude dancers and uh, well, not, or, true. not true. No, let's set okay. the record straight. Number one, on that day I was out. I was not in the building. Number two, we've had this performance several times before. Uh, number three, I want everyone throughout this nation to understand that I don't believe in lewd actions. I don't believe in licentiousness. I don't believe in salacious individuals, orgies. I just don't believe in that because it's against my basic value system. Uh, on that particular day, and I was not here, maybe, and I state to you, maybe there might have been a smidgen of inappropriateness in one of the acts that were being put on. Uh, that could have been handled. Uh, very, very uh, expeditiously by my administrators, but being young, uh, being ne neophytes, being tyros, they did not handle it correctly. Thus, an entire scene was exacerbated. Now, I'm very, very upset uh, with eight council members in the city of Patterson. Now, let me just explain. The Patterson City Council has voted to fire you, and so the next move is really up to the Board of Ed, but the city council here in Patterson wants you out of the job. Well, let me say this to you. In this town, I am beholden to very few people. One is Mayor Graves, two, the superintendent of schools, and thirdly, the board of education. And I want to state this for the records about those no good pusillanimous dastards on that city council. They're an insult to the political process, for they know indeed that that act was not indicative of the type of furor that's surrounding this particular situation. What they did was ambush me. They attempted to ambush me. And I want them to understand, beginning with the black ones on there who ambushed me and betrayed me on Black History Month, and the other individuals, that first of all, I have done nothing wrong, and this is just an invidious and insidious attempt 
to try and brew me, and brew me, stain me, besmirch me, and they know they can't, and they also know they can't fire me, so they should just stop flapping their Vaseline lips and shut up. <clears throat> I think you covered it. You've always I been a fighter, so. and you're ready? And this is ludicrous. This is absurd, and I will okay. not accept it. Principal Joe Clark at His Side High will be coming back and looking around the school. Thank you very much for spending some time with me. Great being on. Okay. Never uh, short for words, Joe Clark, the principal right. at East Side High. Let's go back to you, Steve. Man, I heard some verbs and adjectives in there I haven't heard since high school. Anyway, coming up on Good Day New York, Robin Carter will be... a shot of East Side High School in Patterson, New Jersey, the setting for the new movie about Principal Joe Clark called Lean On Me. Well, lots of news of movies and other celebrities in the limelight this morning. It's going to be quite a... I love it, I love it, I love it, and where he goes, I'm Reporting. Good day, New York. Live from Patterson, New Jersey, I'm John Buchan. Coming up, more on the story of hard-hitting principal Joe Clark and the high school that serves as a basis for the new movie, Lean on Me. It's all ahead on... Good day, New York. Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. It doesn't show Okay, back at Eastside High in uh, Patterson, New Jersey, and Mr. Clark, we're here with some students. Can you give us permission to do this? Ninth graders talk to reporters because they have not matured yet. But these are fine ninth graders, a truly an asset to the much heralded Eastside High School. Certainly, we we indicate what our school is about. And I want to tell you about my students. We are sick and tired of these individuals around here, around town, who are always attacking the principal in our school. We've done a great job. We brought this school back, thanks to my students. Yeah. From shame to... Yeah. We've come from shame to fame, from disgrace okay. to amazing grace. And a lot of people are jealous of that great acclaim. Okay. Now, yes. let me ask some of the kids here. The movie Lean On Me has come out, and it shows that this guy is a hero, but all the students have helped. Is this guy as good as everyone says he is, or what? Yeah. Come on. Yeah, he sure is. He sure is a good man. He's even better than what he did. Okay. A lot of people... What a heck, go ahead. Even, even the movie, Mr. Clark didn't play it, but I think Mr. Clark himself should play it because nobody could portray him himself. You know, we were talking earlier that there seem to be some people in Patterson who don't seem to like your principal too much, is that right? Forget the people in Patterson. This is Esau. Everybody loves Esau. And we will stand behind Mr. Clark. That's Thank true. you. What do you think? Well, I will tell you this, and I want to make this clear. And remember this, young people. Those council members were nothing but a bunch of sap suckers who are trying to suck the spirits of Eastside High School. But they can't suck our spirits because our spirit lingers on. He meant to that. All right. That's the story from Eastside High School principal Joe Clark, who's out to take care of more kids. Let's go back to you, Steve Dunlap from Eastside High in Patterson. With a vocabulary like that, who needs a bull? Five. Good morning again, live at Eastside High in Patterson, New Jersey. We've uh, been here through the morning, and uh, we have an assembly here. Uh, we have several thousand students. Good morning, everybody! Good morning! Okay, now if you see the movie Lean on Me, which is based on the principal of this school, Joe Clark, you're going to see a very gripping moment in the film where the whole school sings the alma mater, the school song. Well, we've done better than bringing you a clip. We're going to show you the real thing. Take it away, gentlemen.
Well, that's Eastside High School in Patterson, New Jersey this morning. 8.51. Not many high school principals are the subject of a major motion picture, but then Joe Clark is not your average high school principal. Patterson, New Jersey's East Side High was once considered one of the most notorious inner city schools in the nation. Teachers were afraid to go to work, and 60% of the students were functionally illiterate. Joe Clark changed that. Today, there are still problems, but teachers are respected, and test scores are up 40%. His story has become the movie Lean On Me. Ray Murray met Joe Clark and the man who is playing him. You hear? Don't let me have to come in there, Iris. Come here. They call him Crazy Joe. Maybe that's because Joe Clark, principal of Eastside High, did a job that no sane man would ever attempt. To take a drug-ridden school, a prostitute-ridden school, a school with pervasive vandalism and violence and stabbings, allegations of rape in spite of the odds he picked up his baseball bat and began an adventure that would put him on the cover of time magazine and that was just the beginning hey, roll it we're it had to happen the incredible story of joe clark's early days at patterson new jersey's east side high is now a hit movie entitled lean on me all right, Mrs. Hamilton, I'll make an announcement in the morning. Let's hey, go, sorry, you. Know, the part of Clark is played convincingly by Morgan Freeman. We are dealing with a man who harbors an awful, awful lot of anger and a system that is destroying itself. You are not inferior! And that's what I tell my kids constantly. We can't let a few retrobates, mutants, hoodlums, thugs, deviants, contaminate your race because people judge you by how they perceive you. He will never forget his first look at Eastside High. A menagerie, a pig sty, um, the floors were littered, time then the hall strewn with graffiti, we all the smell of drugs throughout. And his reaction was vintage Joe Clark. I attacked with fury. They used to call me Crazy Joe, but now they can call me Batman. I attacked with ferocity. Always tomorrow. And thus, again, I attacked. These people have been here up to five years and done absolutely nothing. And since none of them could graduate anyway, you are all expurgated. Joe Clark succeeded in doing what no one else could. He brought order to one of the worst schools in the country, and his baseball bat and bullhorn had nothing to do with it. Those kids outside there, all 3,000 of them, if they did not believe in me, they would take this bullhorn and those baseball bats and wrap them simultaneously around my neck. You're going to have children soon, after you get married, of course. Don't laugh, Karina. You only have to watch Joe Clark interact with his students to see the respect and affection they have for him. But he had to earn it. It comes from young people looking at me and saying, there's a man who stood up. Joe Clark's heavy-handed tactics have not gone unchallenged. When Clark expelled 66 students for unacceptable behavior without the approval of the school board, the board charged him with insubordination and threatened to dismiss him. But with support from the White House, Clark kept his position and he vows to remain at Eastside until the dropout rate is zero and test scores are up 100%. The chance to be with her daughter, Annie. Lean on Me debuted at number one in our Entertainment Tonight box office estimates. The movie earned more than $5 million its first weekend.